The Barbie movie just got banned in Vietnam for showing a controversial map. So what's going on here? The map in the Barbie trailer features what's called the Nine Dash Line. The Nine Dash Line covers several million kilometers of ocean and islands along the coasts of Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, the Philippines, Taiwan, and China. For over a century, there's been an ongoing dispute between China and its Southeast Asia neighbors over who owns this resource-rich region. Although the latest ruling by an international tribunal says that China does not have claim to the area, the Chinese government refuses to abide by the decision. In recent years, China has been accused of attacking foreign boats, killing fishers, bringing in oil rigs, polluting the water, and building military bases to intimidate its neighbors. Now, where does Barbie fit into this complicated geopolitical picture? Well, the upcoming Barbie film joins a long list of U.S. entertainment products that intentionally or not, include details promoting China's interests. In 2019, ESPN displayed a map during its NBA coverage showing the Nine Dash Line and Taiwan as part of Chinese territory. Although Taiwan has governed itself independently for decades. Meanwhile, Disney, which owns 80% of ESPN, reportedly filmed its live action version of Mulan near several Uyghur detention camps. Despite the continued outcry about the genocide against the Uyghur people, and it's not just Disney. In 2019, Paramount was accused of removing the Taiwanese flag from Tom Cruise's jacket in the Top Gun suit. The point is, purposefully or not, Hollywood has consistently worked to appease one of its most lucrative box office markets. On top of featuring details that pander to Beijing's interests, the U.S. entertainment industry also has, at times, actively steer it clear of language that might offend the Chinese government. ESPN banned its anchors from discussing the recent civil unrest in Hong Kong. John Cena had to publicly apologize for calling Taiwan a country. And Richard Gere says he's been blacklisted in Hollywood for supporting the Free Tibet movement. That's right, U.S. citizens on U.S. soil are facing potential repercussions for saying things that Beijing doesn't like to hear. So, is the Barbie map another example of Hollywood appeasing China in exchange for box office profits? Or is it, as Warner Brothers claims, just a harmless doodle in the summer's most hotly anticipated movie?